Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Good Shoes. Today we will be continuing our Proxmox virtual environment setup. In the last video, we created a bootable USB drive using the Proxmox VE ISO. And now it's time to move on to the next exciting step. Installing Proxmox on our Dell Optiplex 7060 MFF system. We'll be getting up a Proxmox on three of these machines which will form the foundation of our high availability Kubernetes cluster. Whether you are new to Proxmox or a seasoned professional, this step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the entire installation process. Let's get started. So the first thing, make sure you are plugged in your bootable USB drive into your Dell Optiplex MFF system. This model is great for a home lab setup and I choose it because of its small footprint low power usage and quiet operation. Perfect for a home Kubernetes cluster. Let's power on the system and access the boot menu for by pressing F12 during the startup. Once you are in the boot menu, keep pressing the F12 until you see the boot menu. Before we proceed with booting from the USB, there are a few settings in the BIOS that need to be adjusted to ensure the system can boot from UEFI and we're going to go through the system information, boot sequence, check it's selected to UEFI and go to advanced boot options. It should be disable legacy option for ROM and move to the UEFI boot path security needs to be the second option to be selected. Go to the system configuration and look for the USB configuration. This should be enable USB boot support and USB ports. And next is the security. The TPM 2.0 security should be enabled and keep the other things as default as you see on the screen. And move on to the secure boot. This should be enabled, secure boot. And please click on apply and save the settings. And please keep pressing the F12 key until you see the boot menu. So let's wait. So once you're in the boot menu, boot mode is set to the UAFI, secure boot on, and make sure you have the USB plugged in, and you'll be able to see it under UEFI, the SanDisk. Let's go ahead and de select the desired boot device, currently, which is the SanDisk, and this should start to boot from the USB drive. We're going to use the graphical part. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to use my keyboard. So it'll start loading the Proxmox V installer. So let's wait. As we know, the Proxmox is open source hypervisor that allows you to run both virtual machines and containers, and it's perfect for the kind of high availability Kubernetes setup. Okay, in the EU LA, that's end user license agreement. So there are a few license agreement and also warranty related information, copyrights. Scroll down till the last and click on I agree and move on to the next window. It's Proxmox virtual environment uh, installer automatically partition your hard disk. So select the hard disk, the desired hard disk and click on next. Now let's move on setting up the system region, time zone and keyboard layout. I'll choose the local region, which is I'm in the UK. So now let's set up the password, a strong password, which will be logging on to the PC or the server once after it's booted up. And make sure you also specify a valid email address for the recovery. And there are a few information which needs to be configured has you would be able to see on the screen, which is IP address, host name, gateway, DNS server. Make sure you have a copy of this. Confirm the information displayed on the screen and click on install. And the installation process would start. And once it's completed, you should be able to see a login screen. Now that we have installed Proxmox VE on the first machine, we'll need to repeat the process for the other two systems. The, step, the steps are exactly the same, so just follow along. We install the Proxmox on each node, PC or server. 
So that's it for today's video. We successfully installed Proxmox VE on the Dell Optiplex 7060 MFF system. And we are well on the way to setting up a powerful and efficient Kubernetes cluster. So stay tuned. Please follow the videos. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of the future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.